Welcome back everybody to Tesla Driver. Today I'm going to be doing a video that you guys have actually requested in the comment section. This is all about the defrost feature on the Model 3. How well does it defrost your Model 3? And most importantly, what do the cameras see and how long do they take to get defrosted after a very cold night? So last night it was minus 7 here in the UK. Uh, it's minus 6 in the morning as I'm recording this. Uh, and I'm just going around and checking all of the cameras, all of the doors, and just seeing what does the car look like after a cold morning. So obviously, unlike other cars, it doesn't have an engine in the front. So the front of the car always looks cold and looks frozen. It actually defrosts super fast. You can see here the first door, my door, opened and worked fine. The rear right door, though, the handle wouldn't pop out even after pushing it quite hard with my thumb. So to sort this out, give it a hit, and then 90% of the time, it will just pop open and work. But for some reason, I couldn't get the car to fully open that door. I went around to the other side to test it, and the other side was absolutely fine. And again, with the front door, it took a little bit of a pushing this one, but as soon as you push it, you can pull it open, the window goes down, and it opens no problem. While I was around this side, I noticed this camera over here was totally frozen over, and there's no way you could see through that. And I'll actually get to see the camera preview in a second and show you what you can see. And at the front here, you can already see the defrost mode working, as you can see the light lines of heat uh, that are obviously pumping through there and defrosting those front cameras, which actually surprisingly defrosted really quickly. In terms of the charging cable, the button here was frozen solid, but with a little push, it did open up. It came out fine. I was actually pretty impressed because the door itself closed with no problem. And then after I defrosted that button by pushing it a little bit, you could just open it straight back up and put it in. That was actually quite impressive. I was expecting that to be completely frozen up. And then with the boot as well, the boot I've never had an issue with. It just pops straight up. You lift it up. This isn't the uh, power lift tailgate. This is just the normal tailgate and pull it down closed, no problem. The back of the car as well, you can see, is defrosted nicely. I did have to get these elements replaced on my last window because for some reason they didn't work, but you can see them here working beautifully. I've just hopped in the car, and as you can hear, the fans are blasting up at the top. If I uh, do the wipers one time, let's see if it... Hmm, the wipers don't seem to want to... I'm not sure if the wipers are frozen down or, or what's going on there, but the wipers definitely don't want to move. Let's go on to the settings and we can actually go onto the settings here and have a look. So my PSI is quite low, especially on that back right tire. Uh, it does have a very slow puncture that I need to get fixed. Uh, but this left one as well, because it's so cold, has gone down quite a little bit as well. What I'm interested in is the camera preview here to see what the camera shows. Oh, okay, well, there's me coming out of that uh, camera up there. That's actually the first time that's worked in a long, long time. So that's quite interesting to see. So this is what you can see currently. The main camera is pretty blurry. The wide camera, it doesn't want to switch. Oh, it's, it's a bit slow. It's waking up. Okay, the wide camera doesn't want to show us anything. Okay, so unplugging it seems to have made the difference there. You can see the wide camera is looking pretty good. It does have some uh, watermarks over it. Let me try the wipers again now. No, the wipers... Th oh, there we go. Okay, now the wipers are going. And you can see that they do go over the camera there and give it a little wipe clean. Let's try the main camera again. Main camera's looking good. That's looking nice and clear. The narrow camera, the narrow camera is pretty much the main camera, just cropped in another like 50% or so. Left door pillar, see the left door pillar is still blinded, so this when you are driving, if you try to access autopilot or anything, this is going to cause you a big issue because the left door pillar is looking forward over that way. Uh, and it can't see, obviously we can see out this window nice and clear now because it's defrosted. Let's try the left fender which is looking backwards. I can't make out anything there to be honest. There's the left pillar. There's the left fender as well. Oh, there we go. Okay, no, now it's updated. And the left fender is actually looking really good. I believe these are heated as well. And you can see there, that's actually worked a trick. So I'm kind of intrigued to see why the door pillar is really struggling. And maybe that might be the last thing to defrost. Let's try the right door pillar. Right door pillar is looking pretty good to be fair. That's looking a lot more clear. 
the right fender. That's looking really nice and clear. So I think autopilot would be pretty good. What about the rear view? The rear view also surprisingly looking pretty clear considering how dirty the roads are. Normally you have to wipe it. I normally walk around the car and with my thumb, I wipe each camera, but that looks pretty good. So the only issue we're having is that left door pillar. The mirrors as well, they are looking pretty good on both sides. They seem to have defrosted and all the doors and stuff working. So let's just go have a look at this uh, left door pillar and see what it looks like from the outside and see if it just needs a little wipe down. You can see this one for some reason is still frozen and it's actually not heated around the camera at all. If I give it a quick clean like that, you can see in the car, or might, you might be able to see in the car that it's now clear. So just a little concern about that left door pillar camera not heating up at all, which I thought the heating element uh, would have defrosted it. Interesting enough, the other day I did notice a tiny bit of condensation inside the kind of camera area, which I'll put on screen now. And I'm wondering if that means the heating element or whatever it uses to heat that side has kind of failed. That's something that I'll speak to Tesla about and see. But there we go, after about 13 minutes, we are completely clear. We are completely ready to go. The cameras are all looking great. Main camera, wide camera. It's a little bit glitchy when you switch between them. Narrow camera. Now the left door pillar looking good. Now the left fender, I mean the left fenders always look fine. But yeah, see it's doing this weird artifacting and it's not actually changing to the camera. I'm not sure why. The right one looking good the right fender looking good and the rear view looking good so there we go so yeah that looks good as well so that's the car fully defrosted it takes about 13 14 minutes and it's lovely and toasty in here uh i don't know where the temperature is it says it's 24 inside minus three outside and the car's ready to go